A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus English. English is such so much fun. English is education for you and everyone, so come along. Learn some grammar, hey. learn a phrase, uh -huh. learn something new every day. Learn the A plus way. Hello everyone and welcome to A Plus. My name is Reese. I'm Jiggly. And today we're here to make your life easier by introducing you guys to some really cool and useful apps. Apps. What's an app? 应用程式 like what you see on your phone, you、yeah. need them to survive. I mean, nowadays we kind of do. There are apps that I use every day, like Instagram and Google Maps、oh. is really good for navigating Taipei.、Mm -hmm. But we're going to introduce you to some other useful apps that can make your city life a bit easier. So I have a warm-up question for you before we get into that, Chicklin. How do you get around your town? Well, I used to drive, but then I stopped because I went on the road for four times and I got fined for three times. <laughs> so I don't drive in Taiwan, especially Taipei. So I always ask my dad to bring me around or to drive me around, or sometimes I take the bus, I take Uber. What about you? Okay. Well, remind me not to get in a car with you. <laughs>、um, well, I don't drive, but I do ride a scooter, but not in Taipei because、uh -huh. I don't have my license. So usually I take the metro or the bus or a U bike. Ah. And Google Maps is my best friend for finding my way around the streets. Without it, I think I would be lost. <laughs> Can you imagine living in a world with no Google Maps? No. What would we do?、Mm. Anyway, let's get into our article, and we can learn about some of these useful apps. Make your life easy with these apps. Warm-up question: How do you get around your town? There are a lot of useful phone apps these days. Make your life easier with these. Go Taipei Metro. If you take the Taipei MRT often, you need Go Taipei Metro. It has information about station exits, escalators, elevators, and restrooms. It also helps you plan your trip and tells you the cost. Shazam! This app is great for music fans. It listens to a song and tells you the name of the music. You can link it to other music apps like Spotify or Apple Music. Shazam is great for songs in foreign languages too. Word power. Exit. 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 After you leave the station, meet me outside the exit on Heping East Road. After you leave the station, meet me outside the exit on Heping East Road. Restroom, restroom. Josie went to the restroom to wash her hands before she started eating. Josie went to the restroom to wash her hands before she started eating. Link, link. George linked his work email to his phone. Now he can work on things outside his office. George linked his work email to his phone. Now he can work on things outside his office. Foreign, foreign. I always like to try new foods when I visit foreign countries. I always like to try new foods when I visit foreign countries. 电视智慧 Escalator, escalator. Elevator, elevator. 
So today's article begins by telling us that there are a lot of useful phone apps these days. Make your life easier with these. And then the article is going to go on to introduce these apps to us. But before we learn about these apps, let's learn about this phrase: these days. Well, these days, everything is convenient with apps and technology. When we use the phrase "these days," we're talking about the time that we're living in now or recently. We're not talking about the past. We're talking about the way things are in the modern world. Right. So these days, 就是现今。所以现今有很多很实用的手机应用程式。那接下来呢，就来试试以下几种让你的生活更方便哦。那么 app 就是 mobile application， 它意思就是手机的应用程式。Mm, apps make my life so much easier. Don't say app. App. By the way. <laughs> That's what old people say. <laughs> well, the article is going to introduce us to our first app, and it is Go Taipei Metro. You want to read this part? Taipei Jiayun, go, go. <laughs> If you take the Taipei MRT often, you need go Taipei Metro. Yeah, so if you often take the Taipei Jiayun, then you need to download Taipei Jiayun Go, this app. 那接下来呢，我们要先进到我们的 Magic Box， 看一下 if 条件句的用法。Magic Box， 各位大哥哥、大姐姐们，你们好吗？你们知道吗？自从奶奶生病之后。我每天都希望自己赶快长大，因为长大后我想要当一个很厉害的医生，把我奶奶像奶奶一样生病的人都给医好。If I am a doctor, I will try my best to cure her illness. 没错，如果我是个医生，我就会用尽全力把奶奶的病给治好。当然，我现在还做不到嘛，都是如果、如果而已啊。If 如果的条件句啊，其实分成很多种哦，表达的意思也都不太一样。简单来说，分为四种。第一种呢，就是在没有任何的条件情况下，纯粹啊去描述一个习惯啊，一个事实。例如说 ，If I am hungry, I eat。哎，这时候的 if 子句和后面的主要子句皆为现在简单式哦。如果我饿了，哎，那我就吃东西啊，这是理所当然的吧。那再来这种呢？哎，我刚刚说的 ，If I am a doctor, I will try my best to cure her illness. 哎，这属于是第一类的条件句哦，表示啊未来的可能性，而且啊真的哦，在将来可能会实现的情况。这时候呢 ，if 的子句。是现在简单式，那后面的主要子句呢？我们就会用未来式来呈现哦。哎，大家不要小看我、啊，我相信只要我认真努力，哎，往这个方向前进，当然当一名医生，嗯，不是不可能的哦。好啊，那第二类条件句是什么呢？表示啊与现在事实是相反的一个假设，而且呢是未来不太可能会发生的。举例来说好了。呃，这就要讲到我上次呢来找奶奶的可怕经验了。她，她竟然被大野狼给吞进肚子里面了。哎，还好奶奶非常的勇敢，从大野狼肚子里出来之后是没事的。If I were grandma, I wouldn't be so brave. 如果啊我是奶奶的话，我一定没有办法这么的勇敢。哎，当然我不是奶奶嘛。所以呢，这个是与事实相反的。这时候啊，我们就用刚刚说的第二类的条件句 ，if 子句呢为过去简单式，那后面的主要子句就会用 would、could、might 加上原形动词来呈现哦。那最后一种第三类条件句就比较特别一点啦。使用第三类条件句呢，通常啊就表示 if 子句里面说的这个事件其实没有发生。因此呢，造成主要子句所说的，哎，是没有办法实现的。有些那种后悔过去如果怎么样，今天会不会有不同结局这种感觉。我举例来说好了 ，If I had arrived at Grandma's house earlier, the wolf wouldn't have eaten her. 哎，如果我当初早一点到奶奶家，大野狼啊就不会把奶奶给吃掉了。
，特别注意啊。if 的子句是过去完成式哦，那后面这个主要子句则是 would could might 加上现在完成式哦。还好啊、哦，最后奶奶是没事的。好啦，以上几种条件句，各位大大们赶快试试看吧。So I actually did download this app when I read this article. It's pretty good. It's a bit more detailed than Google Maps in regards to metro stations.、Mm -hmm. So the article tells us more. It says it has information about station exits, escalators, elevators, and restrooms. So, 接下来先看一下 ex exit 的用法 Exit 就是出口的意思。这边是名词，所以紧急出口的英文就是 an emergency exit。那你要发音的话，你也可以说 exit， 也是可以。那入口呢？刚刚我们讲到出口嘛，入口的英文就是 entrance。那么它这个字呢 ，exit 也可以当动词，代表离开的意思。So you can say to exit the theater， 或者是 to exit the building， 都是可以的。那课文例句是 After you leave the station。Meet me outside the exit on Heping East Road. 你离开车站之后呢，在和平东路上的出口外面跟我会合。Do we know where all of the exits in this building are? There is one over there. That's great. It's important to know where they are, just in case there's an emergency,、mm. right? Like an earthquake or a fire. Yeah. We also had the words escalator and elevator in the article. These are both machines that you might use every day. An escalator, which comes from the verb to escalate, is that automatic staircase that you find in metro stations and malls. If you step onto it, it takes you up or down. An elevator, which comes from the verb to elevate, is similar to an escalator, except it's not a moving staircase; it's a moving box.、Mm -hmm. It takes you directly up or down.、Mm -hmm. Fun fact: in the UK, we don't use the word elevator; we say lift.、Ah. 好，所以呢，老师刚刚讲了两个字 ，escalator 就是电扶梯，那么 elevator 就是电梯，整个往上那种，不是有 stairs 的。那接下来先看一下 restroom 这个字的用法吧。Restroom 就是公用厕所或洗手间的意思。不过在北美呢，有时候我们会混着用 bathroom。可能你去餐厅吃个饭，你说你要去上厕所，你也会说 Where is the bathroom？ 也是可以，或者是 washroom， 有时候也会讲。那男生的厕所呢，我们可以说 men's room。女生呢是 ladies room。好，那课文例句是 Josie went to the restroom to wash her hands before she started eating。Josie 吃饭之前呢，去了洗手间洗手。I think it's a little strange that we call it the rest room because we don't really rest in there, do we? That would be where you, your bedroom is where you rest. Yeah. Well, in British English, we have so many different words for rest room. We say lav, which is short for lavatory.、Mm -hmm. We say loo. We even say bog or W C, which means water closet.、Mm -hmm. There are so many words for this one room. Mm-hmm. So this app, 呢一开始这个 app 它有车站的出口、手扶梯、电梯、洗手间位置的信息哦。嗯、mm. ，Well, the article continues here. It tells us it also helps you plan your trip. And tells you the cost. Using the sentence structure, help somebody, verb, do something. We can talk about how you or someone or something else can help somebody complete a task or do or be something. Chicklin, after work, can you help me fix my button? It's loose. Oh yeah, sure, sure. I'll do that for you. Thanks. <laughs> so help someone do something or to do something, 就是帮助某人做什么事情。那也可以改写成我们的文章也可以改写成 It also helps you to plan your trip and tells you the cost. 我们前面也可以加一个 to。所以文章意思是说呢，这个 app 也可以帮助你规划旅程啊，或者是告诉你花了多少钱。A very helpful app. And now the article is going to introduce a second very helpful app. The article says Shazam. This app is great for music fans. It listens to a song and tells you the name of the music.、Mm -hmm. I've used this one before. Have you heard of Shazam? Yes, I have. And you know Siri does that too. She does. You can、She's、simply talk to her. Kind of 
kicking Shazam out of her job. <laughs> <笑>所以第二个 app 是 Shazam 这个 app 呢，它对音乐迷来说很有帮助哦，因为它可以听到一首歌就跟你说是什么歌名。It happens so often that I hear a song and I'm like, what's the name of this song? Shazam can help for things like that.、Mm-hmm. The article tells us more. It says you can link it to other music apps like Spotify or Apple Music. 嗯，所以接下来我们来看一下 link 这个字。Link 就是连接的意思，在我们文章中这边是当动词哦。所以如果把两件事情或什么东西结合在一起或联系在一起，就是可以用 to link something up。比如说 to link link up with something 也是可以哦。比如说我们可以讲 They plan to link up dog lovers from all over the world。他们计划呢把世界上爱狗人士全部连接在一起。那么 link 这个单词当名词也是可以，它有联系啊或者是网络连接的意思。那我们看一下课文例句。George linked his work email to his phone. Now he can work on things outside his office. George 呢，把他工作的电子信箱连接到了他的手机。现在他可以在办公室外面处理事情。So to link with something means to connect with it. Yay! So, 呢，这个 app 也可以连接到其他音乐的 apps， 像是 Spotify 或者是 Apple Music 都是可以的哦。Or YouTube Music. Wow, which is what I use. 好多。Well, the article continues with more information about Shazam. Shazam is great for songs in foreign languages too. Awesome. 所以我们来看一下 foreign 这个单词。Foreign 就是从国外来的，或者是在外国的，它是一个形容词。那么在我们的文章中出现了 foreign languages， 就是外语的意思。所以外国人就是 foreigner， 你直接在后面加 er 就好啦。比如说呢 ，Reese 讲中文讲很好，你就可以说 his accent doesn't make him sound like a foreigner。他的腔调根本就不像外国人啊。那课文例句是。I always like to try new foods when I visit foreign countries. 到国外游览的时候呢，我总是喜欢新奇的食物。Chicklin, you're so nice to me. My goodness. Being honest. 谢谢。Well, I think I'm a foreigner, right?、Mm-hmm. In Taiwan, I am at、yeah. least because I'm not from Taiwan. I'm from the UK.、Mm-hmm. We can use foreign to describe more than just people. We can describe fruits and languages and places as foreign. We can also use the word foreign to just mean unfamiliar. So if something is confusing and you don't recognize or understand it, you can describe it as foreign. So, in Shazam, this app, it can describe foreign songs. Well, those are the two apps for today. But we will be back tomorrow with two more very useful apps for your smartphone. But for now, let's go to our review time activity. Review time. So in today's article, we came across some words that might have differences between British English, which is what I speak, <laughs> and American English, which is what I think most Taiwanese people learn.、Mm-hmm. Are you aware of some differences, Chicklin? Maybe fries,、mm-hmm. chips. Yes, we、um, call them chips. Chips. Crisps, yes.、Uh, maybe sneakers, trainers. Exactly.、Right? Yeah. Or like what we said today, elevator and lift. Exactly. And what else? Oh, zucchini. Oh, Cor- courgette. Courgette. I, I think I've heard of that. You know so many. How about in the UK? We call it coriander. What do they say in the US? Cilantro. Yeah, xiang cai.、Mm-hmm. I really don't like xiang cai. Um, it tastes like soap, right? That's what I think. A little bit.、Yeah. <laughs> How about we say rubbish? Trash. Yeah. Or garbage. Or garbage or、right. trash. We say rubbish bin, and Americans might say trash can. How about in the UK? We call it a path. Pavement. Is it a pavement? Or a pavement? Yeah. By the side of the road. Sidewalk. Exactly. <laughs> Americans say sidewalk. We don't use that word in the UK.、Uh, How about this one? Trunk and boot. We say boots. You say trunks.、Right? We say boot. You guys say trunk. Really? I think I say boots. I mean, for the back of a car. Oh, we're talking about that. Oh yeah, trunk. Sorry, I, I thought it was an elephant's 
something. Oh, no, we. 不是那一个，是那个后面那个车子那个，对不对？啊、oh, ，对对对。Yeah. 那我们说 trunk 吧。Americans call it a trunk. And in the UK, we call it a boot. 我刚刚想说我们讲 boot 是靴子。Okay, 对对对。Sorry. We also call those boots. Yeah. yeah. And in the UK, we have a cool tradition of car boot sales. Can you imagine what that might be? 你们在卖后面那个啊？ I don't know. You. Everybody goes to a parking lot or,、uh-huh. or a car park, as we would say in the UK, and everybody opens the boot of their car or the trunk of their car, and they display the things that they want to sell, and people walk around and buy things. Ah, yeah, like a garage sale, right? Kind of the same, but it's in a parking lot instead of your garage. Ah, okay. And there are loads of people there selling things. That's cool. You can buy some really cheap stuff there, like secondhand stuff. Yeah, exactly.、Ah, cool. One more. We say aluminium. Aluminium. And Americans say aluminium. <laughs> I've heard apparently aluminium is kind of the correct answer. Oh really?、Uh. Really? Anyway, maybe you guys can think more about British English versus American English. Which interesting words do you know about? There were some in this article. We'll be back tomorrow with more useful apps. I'm Reese. I'm Chickling. We'll see you then. Bye. Make your life easy with these apps. Warm-up question: How do you get around your town? There are a lot of useful phone apps these days. Make your life easier with these. Go Taipei Metro. If you take the Taipei MRT often, you need Go Taipei Metro. It has information about station exits, escalators, elevators, and restrooms. It also helps you plan your trip and tells you the cost. Shazam! This app is great for music fans. It listens to a song and tells you the name of the music. You can link it to other music apps like Spotify or Apple Music. Shazam is great for songs in foreign languages too. Word power. Exit, 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 exit. After you leave the station, meet me outside the exit on Heping East Road. After you leave the station, meet me outside the exit on Heping East Road. Restroom, restroom. Josie went to the restroom to wash her hands before she started eating. Josie went to the restroom to wash her hands before she started eating. Link, link. George linked his work email to his phone. Now he can work on things outside his office. George linked his work email to his phone. Now he can work on things outside his office. Foreign, foreign. I always like to try new foods when I visit foreign countries. I always like to try new foods when I visit foreign countries. 电视智慧 Escalator. Escalator. Elevator. Elevator.